Oh, you're fine.
always me. You'll always be.
God, we come to your presence today. And you ask you to, we ask you to be with us during this joyous occasion as Caitlin and Daniel begin their lifelong journey as man and wife. Allow your Holy Spirit to help us realize the importance of the sacred reunion. And that you have ordained for us to enjoy from the beginning of time. Help us to glorify you this day and through this ceremony and in every day of our lives. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Who is it that gives this woman to be married to this man today? Her mother. It is well that you do so. You may be seated.
what's really beautiful about this sand ceremony is that maybe <laughs> by the time you guys grow old together, this thing will be all mixed together. And it'll be beautiful to see how God has taken two individuals and created one. And that'll be a beautiful color. I want to see that. I want to be around for that. ceremony to have your special day or just to make it legal. <laughs> You're here at a sacred moment. This is solemn. You stand here before all these people and before God. All these witnesses have come here today to see you exchange your vows. And you come today as two individuals but when you leave today you'll be one in the eyes of God and in all of us as well. This relationship should be symbolic of the awesome relationship that God has with His church. Jesus Christ is the groom. The church is the bride. It is His wish from the beginning of time that there would be unity through the Spirit, through the bond of peace. In the marriage, from the beginning of time, God ordained man and woman to be joined together as man and wife. These two individuals now become one. In Genesis, we read that there was only one thing in all of creation that God said was not good. He said it was not good for man to be alone. Now, Daniel, I know that uh, you probably said the same words when you and Caitlin decided to uh, become man and wife. You probably said the same thing that Adam did. Thank God, one like me. <laughs> it's one for me. Well, God said the reason that a man leaves his mother and his father and the woman leaves her home the two become to get together and, and they are united as one. So forward, forward from this day, you two individuals will function as individuals but as one unit. You start thinking of things not necessarily for yourself and what might be right for yourself. If you start thinking of the needs of the other before the needs of yourself. You move from what I like to call selfishness to oneness. That's where we start thinking about things that are good for the both of us together. This is uh, best exemplified in the verse that says, Greater love hath no man that he lays down his life for his friend. Now there's a portion of scripture uh, in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and this is what it says there. The, these are just some of the highlights. It says love is the greatest. Love is patient. It's kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It's not proud or rude. It doesn't demand its own way. It's not irritable and it keeps no record of being wronged. Now I'm going to repeat that for everybody else in the room too. It keeps no record of being wronged. It doesn't rejoice about injustice, but it rejoices whenever truth wins out. Love never gives up. Love never loses faith. It's always hopeful and endures through every circumstance. These three things last forever. Faith, hope, and love. Yet the greatest of these is love. Now, you guys have uh, come up with some vows that you guys would like to share with each other. That's yours, and that one's yours. And they know these, they just wanted to make sure they didn't forget anything. So I'm going to try to get close, speak loud. Maybe they'll hear you. Our wedding day is finally here, and I'm so excited to start our new journey as a married couple. I want you to know how thankful I am God sent you to me. He knew exactly what I needed to complete my life. You're my best friend, my soulmate, and my one true love. Thank <laughs> you. 
What tokens have you guys brought today to seal this marriage? to everyone here today. All you guys over here, all you ladies over here, this is very important for all of you as well. I give a charge to each one of you. And this charge is that you are here present today, that you all, that you all uphold Daniel and Caitlin in all of your thoughts and prayers. I charge you to encourage them and the relationship they have with each other, I charge you to hold them accountable to a lifelong commitment that they've made here today. If all of you accept this responsibility, please say, I will. I will too. Believe me. <laughs> okay. Hold your hands together here, and I'm going to pray with you guys. Heavenly Father, we thank you for these commitments that have been made here today. We thank you for the, the two lives that you have brought together to be as one. And now, God, I pray that you will bless them, protect them, keep them from harm, allow their relationship to glorify you in all that they say and do. Let them be the example for other people to follow them how to have a lifelong relationship with each other. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. You've gotten to this 
life. It's all happened. No mess ups or anything. It's been great. I will say this to you guys and give you this blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you until the Lord would turn his face toward you and give you peace. And now, by the power vested in me, by Grace Fellowship Church and the state of Indiana, I now pronounce you man and wife. Daniel, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Daniel and Daniel.